Hi, in this screencast we'll learn how to use Cascade classifiers for detecting objects in the image. For demonstration purposes we'll implement a simple phase detection application. Here we have a very simple application that reads and displays an image. Let's see how it looks like. Here is the model we'll be working with today. To detect her face on the image, we have to use a classifier that is trained to recognize human faces. A classifier is basically a special function that takes an image as input and returns its class. For example, a simple face classifier could take images of fixed size, say 20 by 20, and return 1 if it's a face and 0 if it's not a face. But how do you construct such complex functions? OpenCV implements a so-called cascade classifier for that. In short, you take a lot of object samples you want to recognize, in our case it's human faces, and you take a lot of images that don't contain the objects of interest. After that, you run a special training procedure that will try to adjust the parameters of a sophisticated, multi-stage and high-dimensional function, so it returns 1 on interesting objects and 0 on non-interesting objects. Finally, you store all the evaluated parameters in an XML file, which can be used later to recognize and attack the objects. We won't go into further details on how to create such XML file yourself, since this procedure is somewhat involved. Instead, we'll see how to use the existing XML files to detect objects. Conveniently, OpenCV comes with a handful of trained models. They are located in USR, Share, OpenCV, Har Cascades folder. As you can see, there's a lot of cascades that recognize frontal and profile-oriented faces, eyes, noses and whatnot. Let's see how to put them in action. Going back to our example, we have to create a cascade classifier object and provide the path to some frontal face cascade. After that, we create a vector that will hold the rectangle surrounding the detected faces. And call detect multiscale function. That's it. Not too hard, right? Now we should only draw the rectangles and see what we've got. Alright, the good news is that the face is detected correctly, but the bad news is that we also seem to have a face somewhere in the feather. Such errors, often called false positives, are inevitable for practically any classifier. The rate of the errors can be smaller or higher, the conditions when it fails can be different, but any classifier will make mistakes eventually. And the question is, how we can help it? One way is to somehow normalize the image before detection. For example, we can use histogram equalization. This procedure modifies the image to better use the entire available intensity range. This figure illustrates the idea. We take the intensity histogram of the original image and widen the intensity range it occupies. Let's see how it looks like. The image after equalization has more contrast overall. The details are better highlighted, what was bright on the original image became even brighter and what was dark became even darker. But what's most important, the false positive is gone. It's hard to tell the exact reason why equalization helped in that particular case and even to tell why the error appeared in the first place. But the general observation is that normalizing the images before detection is often a good idea. It helps to compensate for such factors as, say, lightning variations. And obviously, you can always try different classifiers. Some of them can work better in your particular use case, while the others can work worse. It is always a good idea to experiment and see what classifiers work best for you. For example, with this classifier, we don't have false positive even on the original image. But probably, it won't be too hard to find an image where the first classifier will perform better. 
If you want to find more information about how the Cascade classifier works, you can visit the Cascade classification page. Or, if you are interested in training your own classifier, you can visit the Cascade classifier training page. Good luck!